I have no idea what just happened there. That Aventador just threw confetti out of its engine bay. Welcome to day two of the rally, but this is actually video two of the Gumball 3000. We haven't. I think that's a Novitec Luso. Yeah, I was just about to say we haven't actually started the rally yet. We're still in London. This is Saturday. We actually set off on the grid tomorrow, Sunday, leaving from Covent Garden. Um, but I'm wanting to take you along for every step of the journey as best as I can. And this is a massive part of the rally. It's the build up when the cars start to arrive. So if you watched yesterday's video, I did mention there's probably only about 30 or 40 cars in the garage at that time. There's 120 cars on the grid. A lot of them are arriving today and more arriving tomorrow. But this is what it's like and the craziness that happens outside of the Gumball Hotel as all of the entrants arrive before registration with their amazing cars. We'll take a look around at the cars, then we'll go inside, register, and I'll show you through the registration process and the crazy gifts that you get being a gumball entrant. So my very own chat to the camera just reminded me that in fact, yes, last night there were only 30 cars down here and that we are one day away now from the rally. And so there should almost certainly be more cars in the garage and lo and behold, it's pumping. It is absolutely packed full of the world's best supercars down here. Let me show you what else is, I don't even know where to start. Let me show you what else is joined. Um, yeah, we have a Lexus LFA. Now, I might be wrong, but this could be the Nürburgring edition LFA, because the Nürburgring edition LFA came with this, and this, and a massive fixed wing, because of course on the standard LFA, the wing comes out of this section here. I think this could be a Nürburgring edition LFA, of which, I don't know, they think they made like 20 or something. So this is incredible. And how on brand is it that we are going to the motherland where this wonderful creation was conceived? So that'll be fantastic. Dude! I was ready to get into the past. Here's our, here's our car. Let me open it up for you, hold on. I'll find the, find the keys in this deep pocket full of random receipts and things. Behold! Is that a Porsche done? That's a Porsche custom. done, yeah. So like the, most that. people are asking me, why, why did I not match it to yeah. the car? It's because inside the car, we got yellow stitching. So against the stitching, this matches. Whereas oh, blue like inside that. looks I, weird. Everyone else would have gone with right? either black or blue. This is it. So inside, like, let's put it in and see. Feel free to jump aboard, sir. Uh, is it weird getting in that side? The 812 is too close for me to open that door. Okay, so for those of you guys who are wondering the inside of the car we've got yellow contrast stitching here and also Porsche very kindly applied the Mr. JWW logo inside so I think when the key is inside the car it does match up better than just having blue so that is the reason why is that the reason why that's the reason why all right that's the reason why <laughs> so as mentioned in the last video here it is. Last time I saw this car, it had absolutely no decals on it at all. I'm not sure how well the camera's doing it, picking up this iridescent livery here, but it really matches well with the Miami blue. We've inherited some buddies. The last time I was down here, the car park did not look anywhere near this good. We have an incredible 812 Superfast next to us who has yet to have the full uh, sponsorship livery applied, but he has gone and stuck the Gumball logo on the bonnet. So the idea with the stickers is that they actually all follow a template. So every car has the branded logos applied in exactly the same spaces. So some of these guys have gone to a big effort to create their own very detailed, intricate wraps, and then unfortunately, Gumball graphics go on top of that, which is why I've kind of opted for the plain car, because then you can stick them anywhere and it, it still looks cool. Having said that, wrap on this 812, pretty special. Anyway, let's continue walking and see what else has joined us in the garage. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. 
<laughs> Reel it wasn't in. even on purpose. Reel it in the B-roll. This guy's on fire. Check it out. We got a camera. Oh, that's a Schmee rig on right there. Of, is this a carbon fiber rig? I expect no, 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 nothing no, less. Not carbon fiber, uh, unfortunately. Oh, but you do have the screen. We have the remote. Here. Got the remote. Are on you the end kidding? Of Did you make this yourself? <laughs> Look at that. Come on. Turn it. Turn it off. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> wow. I'm jealous wow. of your wow. rod. <laughs> yeah, your rod is huge. It's <laughs> in my face. Only a man with pants like that could rock a rod like this. <laughs> that is really cool. So as you can see, we are now back at the Gumball Hotel. Let's go and sign on. I'm going to take you through a little bit of registration so you can get a feel of what happens in there because it's quite interesting. And then I'm, I'm going to try and catch up with some Gumball veterans, the guys who've been doing it for a few years to get their impressions on what they're looking forward to. But also, we need to speak to some guys who've never done it before to see what their expectations are. Welcome to the registration room of Gumball 3000's 20th anniversary 2018. I'm going to take you through the registration suite, which is where we collect all of our incredible swag that's going to overfill our suitcases for the next week. Robert Parker, who is currently signing one of the Gumball flags. These flags uh, eventually end up going to uh, auction. So some lucky owner will end up with one of these Gumball flags signed by every Entrance. Uh, it's not just entrance, there's lots of celebrities too. Uh, speaking of which, that just so happens to be David Hasselhoff. Anyway, we'll speak to him later because he's uh, a Gumball veteran and I'd love to pick his brain. So I'm going to take you through the suites, show you all of the swag that we get, and then we're going to go outside and check out some more cars. Sweet, okay, I think this one's here. Can I here? Yeah, he's good. That'll work, I think. Thank you very much. Awesome. Cheers. Right. Keep what is that? This is a this is a breathalyzer. I know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I well, the way I said that was was not appropriate, but it literally says breathalyzer on it. Is what I meant. <laughs> I know. So we have to be breathalyzed at the, at the beginning of every day. Okay. Uh, because just in case we get we get carried away with the parties. Yeah, no, obviously. As much as as much as that just sounded like a joke, obviously we take this extremely seriously. Wow! Look at this. Like what a is this? There's a weird contradiction going on here. Here's a bottle opener to go along with your breathalyzer. So we're Geodis. Okay. We're the shipping partner of Gumball 3000. And what we're doing is we're arranging for your cars to fly from Bologna to Japan for you guys to be able to drive in Japan without any problems with the police or whatever and getting all those cars back home safe. We like this, but I will tell you, our car's staying in Italy. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what we just built it. Yes, Amazing! Guys are all but it's a pleasure, man. Good. <laughs> right. Thanks Thank for everything. Guys. Good. We'll catch you guys. Enjoy, guys. Thanks a lot, man. See you around. So we're Globe Trotter. We hand make all this luggage, beautiful luggage in Hartford, 20 miles of the road from where we are now. And what we've done for for all the contestants, we've actually made some beautiful. Passport covers. That's beautiful. That's very cool. United Nations of Gumball. 20th anniversary made in the UK. Hopefully the players, the drivers are going to uh, get some good use out of it as well. I mean, I love it already. This is awesome. So we have, we're not, this isn't just display. Sure. But we have a carbon fiber case, limited edition of 120, which is going to be signed by the celebrity drivers. It's going to be auctioned off in Tokyo for the Christmas charity as well. So it's awesome. It's a great, wow. great event to be That's involved. very cool. Bun B, uh, I'm classing you as a veteran of I'll Gumball. Take, I'll this, take that. This is your number eight. seven? Eight. Eight. That's awesome. So I did 2010 through 16. Yep. Took off 17 uh, to record some new music, do some nice. touring. The album's going to drop actually August 31st. So nice. This awesome, is kind of man. part of the promotional cycle. Nice. And then uh, we're back on 18 and probably from 18 beyond. Fantastic, yeah. man. Back on it. Yeah, the and 19. Family. We're already on for 19, too. Already? Yes. Yeah, it's not Mik playing around. Mikanos to a B, so I'm not going to miss that. <laughs> so, the plan today is to give these guys an insight because I love to uh, try and immerse these guys in the experience as best as I can. Gotcha. I'm going to be speaking with a veteran, which I'm classing as you as a veteran, I'll and I'm going to be speaking with somebody brand new who's never done it. Oh, before. wow. But in your words, what would a new person expect from the Gumball Rally? Um, no sleep, 
um, a poisoned liver, um, <laughs> scars that'll never leave your memory, friends that'll never leave your life, um, tickets that'll never leave your driving record. <laughs> Um, and just an experience unlike anything else. That's one thing I've, I've found that after doing gumball and doing everything else in the world that I've been able to do, that nothing really comes close to it. Um, it's an amazing bonding experience. You meet people from all over the world, many different walks of life. There's a lot of people that are, you know, lifelong friends of mine now that if I hadn't done gumball, I would never have even met these people. We would never have been in the same room before. So it's, it's interesting to meet people from different walks of life, different backgrounds. Um, everybody has a different story to tell. Um, a lot of guys are captains of industry, so it's always good to hear how people from another country or another place kind of made their bones, you know? But um, it's just amazing to see what, what Max has put together. It's just an you know, amazing experience for all these different people, like I said, from different cultures, different backgrounds, um, different pay grades, um, all kind of on this one level playing field, which is our love of cars. That's why we're all here. You know, everybody that's here pretty much loves cars, loves driving, loves riding. Um, and you eventually become a people person. I know a lot of people who try to do the Gumball 3000 and try to keep to themselves. And You know, I, I make it my business to go over and introduce myself and say, hey guys, look, I know you probably decided to come here and do it on your own, but rallying is no fun if you're not in the caravan. Just being two guys in a car, driving 3,000 miles, it's gonna be hectic. And a lot of these countries may not speak your language, you may not speak their language. So, you know, you need a helping hand on it. So you need guys like James on your side that can help you out. You know, you get a flat tire in the middle of Italy somewhere, you know, you don't speak Italian, you're gonna have some trouble. I mean, it happens. Oh, I, I, had a, I did a rally where I had a blowout. I had a, a tire blowout on, in the first 10 minutes, I had um, a leak, uh, my tire sprung a leak um, at the Russian border. Just where you want to scrape your Right, that's over. right where you yeah, want to have car problems it. at the Russian border. And uh, I had a flat tire in Italy, all on the same rally. I, was I never had a spare, so I had to find a tire in every country. I was saying in an interview I did yesterday, you always get back and talk about the trials and tribulations, don't you? You always talk about, like, no one goes and says, oh, that five-star hotel room was lovely. Everyone talks about the challenges and the adventures, and I think Absolutely. Gumball's very good at plucking people out of their comfort zones and dropping them in, in a world that's so abstract compared to their oh, normal lives. Right? Absolutely, and it teaches you, you know, how good you are at solving problems and how good of a people person you are, like I said, because if you're out here by yourself and, you know, some of these guys probably never fixed a flat, right? Not all of them. I can imagine there's probably 10 guys here <laughs> sure. that's never had to fix their own flat tire. And there's no AAA out here on the road, so you're going to have to figure all that shit out yourself. You're gonna have, it's going to take a little sweat and blood and tears to get through gumball. But, I mean, like I said, these are memories that you, you, you never lose. And these are moments that you can go back home and tell everybody you did. People are going to be like, what do you mean you drove into the middle of Tokyo and threw $1,000 in the air? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what we did. That's my plan, anyways. <laughs> Um, it, but it's, it's fun, man. It really is. It's fun. It's a journey. It's a struggle. But then at the end of the, when we all cross the finish line, we can all collectively say, yo, we did it. We made it, you know, because we're not going to leave anybody behind. Guys, cars break down. You know, we pick them up, throw them in somebody else's car. Everybody that starts this rally, they want, if they want to finish this rally, they'll finish this rally. It's impossible to, for somebody to be like, well, we couldn't figure them out. We couldn't sort them out. Not on Gumball. Everybody gets sorted. Awesome. Well, um, I'm going to put a link below to Bun's Instagram. Do you have a website at all? Um, we're working on a website now. Okay. So but right I'll, now it's going to be my I'll Instagram and my hold Facebook. Hold off on that. Instagram below. Bun, uh, appropriately earlier, mentioned uh, Gumball's great at bringing people from different worlds and different walks of life. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Bun is a fantastic hip-hop and rap artist based out of Houston, Texas. Yes. And I'm a pasty white guy from Staffordshire, England. <laughs> in, what, in what world would we have ever crossed? Ever, ever. But that's the beauty of Gumball, right? It's a melting pot of cultures and people. And Absolutely. I think that's what's so fantastic about it. So We make a very motley crew here at Gumball 3. Link below, check him out. Wonderful guy, and you'll be seeing more of him over for the next few days. Here, James, thank Gumball, you so baby. much, bro. Thank you, Daddy. Gumball. I did say that I was going to try and find somebody new who hasn't done the gumball. I have not and done get this. Their experiences, and lo and behold, my very own co-driver has not done the gumball. Before. I apologize. In no, advance. no, I think I think it's great. It's going to keep it fresh for me because you kind of don't know what to expect. Having I have said no idea. that, 
I want to hear your thoughts on what you do expect. Okay, so I've done a lot of rallies in the United States. Yeah. Ton of fun, it's basically a whole bunch of car guys coming together, mm -hmm. all different backgrounds, all different businesses. So there's a fun networking element, there's a fun uh -huh. partying element, there's a fun driving element, but always Gumball 3000 has been held in my eyes and I think the universe's eyes as the <laughs> premier rally in the world. I mean, okay. it's the craziest rally, the craziest cars, the farthest distances. And yeah, so that's what I was going to say. What so. I, what I, I, it's hard to say what I'm anticipating, but I'm anticipating cooler cars than I've seen on a rally. I'm anticipating cooler countries and places. I mean, I've only done stuff in the U.S. So the okay. fact that we're starting in London and then going to Tokyo, like, I, how? Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. How long are the driving legs normally on the rallies do in, in the U.S.? They are usually pretty long. Yeah. So on long. a okay. on a, they're usually shorter. The ones I've done, a five-day rally, you might spend. Eight or nine hours a day driving. Okay, so it's still so pretty it's, good it's legs. long. Pretty I'm, good legs. I was expecting okay. something similar. It might yeah, I think it'll be some. Some will be longer. Okay. Just because we've got to cover three thousand miles yeah, in a week. Yeah. See, yeah. I didn't know that Gumball three thousand meant three thousand miles. I was just yeah. like, oh, it's a number. Cool. Yes, yeah, it's a number. No, Gumball no, no. nine thousand so represents three yeah. thousand miles. Um, and they are driven miles. So not yeah. that the flights to Tokyo obviously doesn't count. Oh, that's probably <laughs> more than three thousand miles. <laughs> that's a lot more than three thousand miles. Um, and what about things like the people who are entering it? Not what's uh, what I find interesting about Gumball from the outside, it looks very car focused and car driven. Yeah. But a actually, it's so culturally and lifestyle driven that not everyone is as much of a petrol head as you might expect. There's definitely a couple people that I've met already who haven't even driven a supercar before. They have a cool background and they've done something, but cars weren't necessarily their forte, but their business partner was like, dude, we're going on Gumball. Yeah. And my friend over there, he was like, I don't know, I, I've never driven a supercar and we're doing it in a 488, so I hope it's good. <laughs> like, and so there's, there's that element, there's the partying element that yeah. doesn't get captured quite as much on avenues like ours. For like sure. as much as I would love to show that, it's you never know if it's as appropriate sure. to show. It's always really hard to capture a party environment. Like, course, look at what it's the like good time we're having light, in this dark You're like, room. look at these you know like, you know, illegal things, <laughs> and it, it's, hard to, it's hard to do that. And then you've got the celebrity aspect. For like, sure. I mean, we've got Usher standing over here. Yeah, so the people element of Gumball is crazy. Wild, wild. I think there's like 45 celebs on the rally. Oh Usher's my right there, which is which is cool. Yeah. And uh, we have David Hasselhoff. We've got Steve, yeah. We've got Bun B. We've got a load of uh, influencers this year on the rally. Are huge. There's yeah. A lot of influencers. There are. Uh, and a man with a straw hat. Also. And a man with so, a oh, and a man with a straw. Look at that. That's no, 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 no. Don't worry, man. Okay. Don't worry. We're Usher's okay, more okay. important than us. So all the rallies I've done, they've had cool starts. Maybe a police escort. Maybe leaving a hotel. But okay. none have had an enormous crowd around everywhere who some people are like yeah gumball i've been here every year and some people are like i don't know what gumball is but i was around the street and i saw all these crowds so i just showed up <laughs> i've never seen that type of environment and energy cool. so as a heads up yeah uh, gumball is such a global brand that it's like that everywhere <laughs> That's which is what makes the, what gives ever. this like rock star environment Anyway, we're gonna call that a day. I'm gonna show some nice shiny B-roll and then you're gonna join us tomorrow live from the seats of the GT3 on the Gumball Rally. Let's hit it. The silverware, the trophies for the Premier League, for Wimbledon, and, and many, many sporting events. Iconic trophies that have uh, existed for how many years? 1781. Since 1781. And so we met several months ago, and uh, our partnership formed, and Asprey have, made, have created, handmade, bespoke, silver Gumball trophy, which we're gonna present, obviously, in Tokyo, what day is it today? It's Saturday night. So next Saturday night, we'll all be in, in Tokyo doing the Finale Awards. I mean, how cool is that? I would like a friend of mine to just say a few words as well. He's been a big part of Gumball, a big part of my life. And uh, he's here tomorrow, he's waiting to start flag. Give it up for the Hoff. <laughs> Hello everybody. How many floors are there in this place? Um, thank you very much for having me. Uh, this is my 10th year in Gumball. <laughs> and um, 
it's, um, it's an amazing event because it brings the world together. And I think that's what we really need right now, is an event like Gumball or the World Cup to bring everyone together. How many countries are represented here? 35. 35 countries are represented here in this room tonight. How cool is that? I mean, that's bigger than NATO. <laughs> Anyway, um, I won't be driving uh, an R8 this year. I'll be driving the Night Rider car. So I'll be driving Kit, and uh, I don't drink anymore because Kit used to drive me. <laughs> and after partying with you guys, there's a, there's a reason I quit. Um, it's a lot of fun, uh, Gumball, but it really is. It's a safe rally. It's a fun rally, and the best part about it are the kids. On every overpass, when you go under, there's thousands of kids, waving thousands of kids from, from Lithuania to Africa to, uh, to Paris to Milan. I mean, I've been everywhere with these guys, and it's been an amazing experience. And, and the best part about it are the friendships you make along the way, and Max is um, he's a top guy, and um, that's why we're here, because of Max. Thank you. Anyway, here's to a great race or a great rally. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And lastly, I just want to say how good was the charity last night for the starting grid? We raised nearly, nearly half a million pounds in a week's charity grid. So, give it up for that. Thank you to us three. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to, I just got married. I'd like to introduce my wife. Thank you everyone. I love my double family. Let's have an amazing week. Let's party tonight. Cheers. Cheers guys. Ciao.